Hey everybody, my name's Bib the Builder, and I'm going to be your Bible study foreman this week at VBS. And I am so excited to share God's Word with you. We're going to dig right in right now. So I want everybody to get their thinking caps on and get their listening ears on, and let's look at God's Word together. Today's story is coming from Matthew chapter 26. Jesus and his disciples, his helpers, they walked to a place called Gethsemane. That's a big word, Gethsemane. It was a garden near the bottom of a mountain. Jesus said to the men, sit here while I go on and pray. Then Jesus told Peter and two other disciples, James and John, to go with him. Jesus became quiet. He began to think about the plan that God had for him and the things that would happen soon. Jesus told his disciples he was sad and he wanted them to stay near him. While Peter, James, and John waited, Jesus walked a little farther away. He fell down on the ground and prayed. Jesus asked God to help him. Whatever you want, God, I'll do it, Jesus had said. Jesus walked back to his disciples and he found them sleeping. Stay awake and pray, Jesus said to the men. Jesus walked away again to pray some more. When he finished, he came back to the disciples. He found them still asleep. So Jesus went to pray again. He asked God to help him be ready to do God's plan. When Jesus finished praying, he returned to his disciples. He told them to get up and leave the garden with him. God loves you so much, and he wants to be your friend. But because we're all sinners, we can't be friends with God. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that goes against God. Jesus died on the cross for our sins because he loved us so much. Then Jesus came alive again. When you trust that the Lord Jesus died to save you from sin and rose again, you are God's friend forever. I hope you have a great week at Vacation Bible School. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for the things that you are teaching us in this Bible story. God, we thank you that you sent Jesus, your son, to die on the cross for us and that he showed us a great example about praying and listening to you, God, and always wanting to do what you want us to do. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.